Well, I, first of all, I, my, my sole contact with Buckley, which was of well, no particular significance as far as I was concerned, uh, was that he invited me to be on a program, a talk program that he ran called Firing Line. And yes, I was invited and was there for one, uh, one program, and that was it. Uh, you can see the program, I understand it's been, uh, now appears on the internet and so on. Uh, at the end, he said he was pretty angry. He said he would invite me back, but of course I never heard from him again. Uh, he was, uh, uh, he was the, you know, maybe the leading figure in the uh, so-called conservative movement. I don't think the term conservative is appropriate, but what's called the conservative movement, he was maybe its leading figure. He was maybe its leading intellectual. His journal was the House Journal. Uh, uh, he was considered not by me, but he was considered to be uh, witty, articulate, uh, knowledgeable, and so on, and much respected. Again, not by me, but I'm giving the general impression. Uh, the, what you're calling his successors, I assume you mean the so-called neoconservatives. I mean, they're even farther from conservatism. Uh, they're just extreme radical nationalists. Uh, uh, Wolfowitz, uh, Pearl, uh, Cheney, uh, the rest of them. Uh, it, it's, it's defaming conservatism to associate them with conservatism. Uh, conservatism has an honorable tradition, but it's not that. Uh, the same is true of Reagan. Uh, Reagan uh, uh, was uh, uh, believed in uh, military violence and destruction. He, Central America he virtually destroyed. He supported uh, South Africa's uh, apartheid regime in violation of congressional legislation, uh, uh, supported its attacks on neighboring countries that uh, killed a million and a half people, uh, supported the Israeli atrocities in Lebanon, killed tens of thousands of people, and so on. And internally, he was in favor of large-scale government intervention in the economy. I mean, Reagan was the most protectionist president in post-war American history, with double protectionist barriers. Uh, called on the Pentagon to uh, rescue deficient American management, uh, to teach them uh, modern uh, management techniques so that they could save the economy from Japanese takeover. I mean, to call this conservatism is a, you know, it's a bad joke. Uh, and the neocons, so-called, are even more extreme. Uh, so by today's standards, Buckley looks pretty moderate, I suppose.